After a car crash, it's really important to try to get as much information as we can about how the accident happened. And if you're able to, or a friend is able to, or a relative is able to, get this information, it's really important. And that is obviously the name of the defendant, his insurance information, the car license plate number, um, names of any witnesses if there are any. Okay. A number of times everybody assumes the police officers are going to get these people. And it doesn't happen. I was a witness, witness to a car crash one time. My name never showed up in the police report. The police officers only take down the, you know, one, two, maybe three people's witnesses. And if everybody else was saying the same thing, they don't necessarily include them. Uh, you're going to want to try to get photographs of the scene. Okay, where the cars ended up. You know, try not to move the vehicles if it's safe to do so. If it's not safe to do so, you know, you want to get out of the roadway. And then you're taking pictures of the cars and the damage was there. If you notice, you know, there's a, um, stores around that might have video cameras. Um, that sometimes can be helpful, especially if it's at an intersection. And it's a question of who ran a red light. Maybe the store might have a video camera that would catch those lights. Um, and what color... Uh, the light was, especially if there's no witnesses. Because in a red light situation, and both parties claim they had the green light, there's really no way to prove who had what color light without a witness or photographs or something to definitively show it. 